Hi, this is DNA 2.0. I will now walk you through the cloning tool in the new Gene Designer, Gene Designer 2. Gene Designer is a freely available down, uh, downloadable software. You can get it directly from our website, www.dna20.com. I'll start today by opening up an existing file. I have here up top the T7 snap vector. And at the bottom, I have the trim AG. My intent, I intend to digest uh, both of them with echo R1 and BAM H1 and clone trim A into the snap vector. So let's start by m making sure the sites are there. Let's go to research sites and then click BAM H1 and echo R1. T7 snap has two sites, trim A has two sites. Perfect. Okay, let's open up cloning tool. Make some space. Okay, let's start by taking out, dragging the uh, T7 snap into the um, cloning tool. Pick my favorite BAM H1, Echo R1, and just to the cut, get it to location. I will also have the cut version here, drag it in to the final clone. You see that it gives us the ends. Now let's do the same for the trim A gene. Grab him, drag him in, bam, echo. Use both to cut. This piece falls out, drag it in. Um, compatible overhanging ends. Clone. We now have our sequence. Let's pull it in to our work. Yeah, the signature site finder. What we see here is the clone sequence. Let's rename something else. Let's call it final. And give it some notation. Okay. And to verify that everything's fine, let's o open it up in sequence view. So let's go to the final sequence tab. And uh, Use the telescope view to look at uh, at the three prime end, where we have an echo R1 site. Here is the trim A fragment. This is a remnant of what used to be a three prime downstream sequence, echo R1, and a three prime stopper from the T7 snap. Let's go to the other side and use telescope to to zoom in. Again, we have five prime end. We have a remnant of that five prime upstream. This guy, five prime upstream, the BAM site, and the snap sequence. That concludes the uh, cloning tool module. Thank you very much for your attention.